Hello and welcome back to my channel. I've got this blank wall just here and I was going to cover it in picture frames like I've got up this wall but I thought it might be a better opportunity to use that space as storage. I saw a really clever way of displaying acrylic paint on Pinterest and I've seen other artists do it so I thought I would give it a go myself. So the idea is to take a piece of wood and to hang up your acrylic paints on that or, or even on a piece of string but I'm using wood for this and it's to hang up your acrylic paints um, so that they're all on display and they're all easy to reach and you hang them upside down. I'm going to be using bulldog clips for this and some nails that I'm going to be hammering into this wood. And for the wood I'm using a piece of MDF which I've painted white. It's just a half inch MDF board that I got my friend to cut because he's a carpenter. Thank you so much for cutting it Andy. And um, yeah, so I painted mine white but you don't have to if you wanted to do this you could paint it like blue or black or I don't know you could cover it in stickers or or contact paper or material or anything you like. It's uh, I just wanted it white because most of the stuff in my art room is white and I wanted the tubes of acrylic paint to be the splash of colour so I didn't want the background to take away from that. So I've got a big box of 48 Liquitex Basics acrylic paints. I'm sure 12 or 24 would have sufficed but I bought 48 and why not? And I haven't opened these yet, I've been so looking forward to opening them. out now so the next step now is to nail in all the nails clip all the clips to the paints and then hang them up although I do need to measure where the nails are gonna go because if I don't rule a straight line and that will drive me absolutely nuts like I, I can't handle it not being straight it's gonna drive me nuts and it's gonna be a little bit crazy this is a very very tricky stage making sure that they are all even and lined up hence the ruler I think I'm going to clip them all first. So I've only gone and run out of clips. It says 40. It says 40. Right here. 40. 40. I've got 48 paints. What a freaking genius. I can't believe I didn't ever notice that. I cannot believe I did not notice that. What? What a genius. I'm a genius. Wow. Brilliant. Perfect. Awesome. But I think it's okay. Ah, I have some more. Ha ha ha. Yes. Uh, I think there's definitely enough in here, so phew, that was lucky, otherwise I would have gone mental. Mental. It's not like I can run out the shop right now and get some. Well, thankfully, they do look the same. Good. <laughs> okay, all done. And I've got clips to spare. Where? Cool, so I can actually make another display elsewhere when I get more paint, if I get more paint. I have 48 paints. I probably won't need new paint for a long time. So I probably won't need to use these for a long time. 
One thing you may have noticed is that I've laid them out in the same order that they were in the trays. The reason for that is because on the side of the box it's actually got all the names of the paints and I'm thinking I might cut this off the box and just keep it handy so that I can always refer to it without actually having to go over to the wall, read each individual paint. I've got a very easy to use guide right here. I'm finished. I am so happy with this. It came out so much better than I thought. What do you think? I think it looks absolutely fantastic and I can't stop staring at it. It's like this rainbow colour of awesome. They're not quite in a line but I'll try not to go crazy about it. Uh, I think it turned out okay anyway and I wasn't originally going to put the dots of colour on the nail heads but um, since I needed to do an extra coat of paint to cover up all my lines and stuff uh, I figured it would look better if I painted the nails and that really helped serving as a primer on the nails so that the colour would stick to it so I'm really pleased with how it turned out. So if any of you decide to do the same thing or if you've got any other ideas similar to this please let me know I would love to see what you come up with but uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next video.